Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous video, we have seen that once we got the permission to load the contacts to the application and uh, with then when we tried to write a contact into the content provider, it immediately did it. And then we ended the video wondering whether by default Android provides the right permission also when we get read permission. So in this video, we will start exploring how this works in Android. The dangerous permissions are basically grouped into a certain set of permissions. Now what happens in Android is assume that initially user grants permission to read contacts and then he needs the right contact permission to write into contacts. In Android it will check whether the right contacts is already declared in the manifest file. If one of the permission belonging to the same category is already granted then it will automatically grant the permission to write contacts as well because it is declared in the manifest file and it also belongs to the same category that is contacts but you have to be little bit very careful with this because otherwise it will always give you a security exception for example assume that user tried to load the data and then he denied it tries to add a contact into the content provider say sample test and add contact he will get an exception i am just toasting the exception into the screen so that you can see it so you cannot simply assume that you have a permission you have to always cross check that a particular dangerous permission is granted if not you have to ask for that particular permission at the runtime so we'll go back to the code and see what it basically means in terms of implementing it so you can observe from the code that when I click on the button add contact, I am invoking a method called as insert contacts and this is where the exception was getting toasted. Now this cannot be done, you have to always cross check. So for that I have already implemented uh, another method called as add contacts where I am just checking whether I have a permission then I am invoking the insert contacts otherwise I will once again ask for that particular permission. Now going back here instead of all insert contacts I will call a method called as add contact the code pretty much remains the same I have already explained how the asking of the permission works only the difference is now I am asking for the right contacts so let me run this again and now I will try to add a contact here add contact it will ask me the permission I will allow and then if I add the contact got added if I now click on the load data you will observe that that particular sample test that we just added is automatically available and if you observe when i clicked on the load data it didn't once again ask me the permission for reading the contacts it automatically had because i had already granted the right contacts permission and read contacts belongs to that particular category and it is already declared in the manifest file so it automatically got that particular permission that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye